At SummerSlam 2015, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns took on the Wyatt family in a crazy match that saw Dean Ambrose's shirt ripped off. And this moment is commemorated in this battle pack. SummerSlam edition. On the back, check it out. You can see that also in the set is John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. Yeah, that was a very important match, wasn't it? All right, let's get this open so I can do the review. So first off is a Roman Reigns figure. I have so many Roman Reigns figures that it's starting to get difficult to determine whether or not I've already reviewed a figure that's basically like this. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say this is the first time I have a figure like this, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. This is an alright figure. His hair and face is kind of weird. He's more Fabio than Roman Reigns, in my opinion. But the attire is really nice. And if you don't have a basic Roman Reigns, this is certainly not the worst one to pick up. Now, some people might like that logo on there. Some people might not. If you do not like it, then there's always this basic Roman Reigns wearing a shirt. But personally, I think a lot of people would prefer his vest. On his gloved hand, you can see that there is his logo. It's a basic Roman Reigns figure. Nothing great, nothing terrible. Now, the real highlight of the set is the Dean. Ew, what's going on there? Is the Dean Ambrose. This is a shirtless Dean Ambrose. I think it suffers the no neck syndrome that we often see in John Cena figures. That neck is not really there. This is the first time we have a Dean Ambrose shirtless wearing his jeans because they were ripped off. But um, uh, one little accuracy problem. You know how when we have John Cena figures you can kind of see his underwear? Well, during that match you could definitely see his undies while he was wrestling. So I feel like if they just added that a little bit like they do on the John Cena figures, it, it would elevate this figure. Well, personally I think the most elevating thing would be giving him a neck, but sadly we didn't get that. The face, you know, I see Dean Ambrose in there, but the facial hair, the mouth sculpting, it kind of messes it up for me. Personally though, I think Mattel made a big mistake with this battle pack, making it SummerSlam themed with having Roman Reigns as his partner, instead of the defining moment when Dean Ambrose's shirt was ripped off by The Big Show on Monday Night Raw, when The Big Show beat Dean Ambrose. That was truly a defining moment, so maybe we'll see that as, uh, you know, a, 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 as a debut battle pack defining moments. The accessory these two come with is a chair. Yes. Oh my gosh. The accessory that these two come with is a chair. No WWE logo to be seen on it, but it's a chair. You can play with it. You can hit people with it. Was a chair used in the match? Maybe. I don't know. I didn't watch it before this. Probably because I'm the YouTube jobber. I fail at everything. I'm the jobber champ. That's what I'm talking about. But overall, this set is like, it's okay. The Dean Ambrose figure is definitely the highlight. It's not great though because the lack of, a, of pretty much a neck, his head is way too low, I think. Overall though, it's a fine set if you need these two. But really, if Mattel wanted to create a battle pack that would sell like hotcakes, they should have gone the route of Dean Ambrose and Big Show.